Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on English literature. And in this video, we are going to discuss the poem The Negro Speaks of Rivers by Langston Hughes. Introduction. Langston Hughes's poem The Negro Speaks of Rivers is a profound and evocative work written in 1920 when Hughes was only 17 years old. The poem was published in 1921 in The Crisis. the magazine of the NAACP National Association for the Advancement of Colored People making it one of his first acclaimed pieces as one of the key poems of the Harlem Renaissance a cultural movement that celebrated african american contributions this poem traces the rich history of black identity and experience from the dawn of civilization to contemporary times through powerful imagery and symbolism hughes connects the reader to the deep ancient roots of the black heritage while also addressing the endurance and perseverance of african americans throughout history summary the negro speaks of rivers is narrated from the perspective of a speaker who has an intimate knowledge of the world's great rivers which symbolizes the flow of time and the continuity of life the speaker begins by stating that they have known rivers as ancient as the world itself rivers older than human blood flowing in veins this assertion of deep connection to rivers signifies a profound relationship with history and the natural world the speaker goes on to recount bathing in the euphrates when civilization was young building a hut near the congo gazing upon the nile while raising the pyramids and hearing the mississippi sing during abraham lincoln's journey to new orleans these rivers represent the cradle of human civilization african heritage monumental achievements and the history of slavery in america The poem concludes with a repetition of the opening lines ensuring the reader is aware of the speaker's deep connection to these bodies of water themes blackness perseverance and cultural identity one of the central themes of the negro speaks of rivers is the exploration of black cultural identity and its deep roots in human history The poem traverses time and geography emphasizing that black people have been integral to the key moments of human civilization by invoking rivers such as the Euphrates the Congo and the Nile and the Mississippi Hughes symbolically traces the black experience from ancient times to modern America highlighting the perseverance and contributions of black people across history the speaker serves as a representative figure embodying the collective memory and experience of the black community the poem asserts that despite centuries of oppression and slavery black culture is resilient continuous and deeply connected to the natural world and human history this theme resonates with the broader goals of the harlem renaissance which sought to reclaim and celebrate black heritage in the face of racism and discrimination continuity of history and identity hughes uses the metaphor of rivers to convey the idea that black history is continuous and unbroken much like the flow of a river the rivers in the poem represent not just physical bodies of water but the message of time and the continuity of cultural identity by connecting the speaker's soul to these ancient rivers hughes suggests that black identity is deeply rooted in the past and endures through all the trials and tribulations of history the mention of specific rivers ties the poem to significant historical events such as the rise of early civilizations along the euphrates and the construction of the pyramids along the nile the inclusion of the mississippi river 
connects the poem to the history of slavery in America, particularly through the reference of Abraham Lincoln, symbolizing the struggle for freedom and equality. The poem's emphasis on continuity underscores the idea that black history and identity are not defined solely by the experience of slavery but are part of a larger, richer heritage. Line by Line Explanation and Analysis Lines 1 and 2 I have known rivers. I have known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. The poem opens with a simple yet powerful statement, The speaker has known rivers. This phrase, repeated for emphasis, immediately connects the speaker to the natural world and to history. The rivers are described as ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins, suggesting that they are not just physical bodies of water but symbols of the deep and enduring history of black people. The use of simile and synecdoche in these lines creates a strong connection between the rivers and human life, emphasizing the timelessness of the black experience. Line 3 My soul has grown deep like the rivers. This line is central to the poem's meaning, as it equates the depth of the speaker's soul with the depth of the rivers. The metaphor suggests that the speaker's identity and experience are as profound and ancient as the rivers themselves. This line encapsulates the idea that the black soul has absorbed the richness of history, becoming deep and resilient through the experiences of the past. Lines 4-6 to six. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. In these lines, the speaker recounts his connection to specific rivers, each associating with significant historical moments. Bathing in the Euphrates places the speaker at the dawn of civilization, connecting black heritage to the very beginnings of human history. The reference to the Congo River evokes the African homeland, while the Nile represents both the grandeur of ancient Egypt and the contributions of black people to monumental achievements like the pyramids. These lines emphasize the speaker's intimate relationship with these rivers and, by extension, with the history and culture they symbolize. Line 7 I heard the singing of the Mississippi where Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans and I have seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. This line shifts the focus to the American experience, specifically the history of slavery and the struggle for freedom. The Mississippi River is a powerful symbol of the African-American experience particularly in the context of slavery. The reference to Abraham Lincoln and his journey down the Mississippi alludes to his exposure to the horrors of slavery, which influenced his later actions as president. The imagery of the river's muddy bosom turning golden in the sunset suggests transformation and hope, implying that despite the suffering associated with the Mississippi, there is also beauty and promise of change. Lines 8 to 10 I have known rivers, ancient, dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. The poem concludes with a return to the refrain, reinforcing the speaker's deep connection to the rivers and the history they represent. The repetition of I have known rivers serves as a reminder of the continuity of black history, while the description of the rivers as ancient and dusky adds a sense of mystery and timelessness. The final line reiterates the depth of the speaker's soul, 
linking it once again to the rivers that have shaped human history. Symbols Rivers The rivers in the poem symbolize the continuous flow of black history and culture. Each river represents a different aspect of the black experience from the cradle to civilization along the Euphrates to the history of slavery along Mississippi. The rivers also symbolize the passage of time and the endurance of black identity, suggesting that black culture is as ancient and enduring as the rivers themselves. Human blood in human veins The mention of human blood in human veins in the second line serves as a synecdoche for humanity itself. The comparison of rivers to blood suggests a deep connection between the natural world and human life, emphasizing the idea that black history is as fundamental and ancient as life itself. The Soul The speaker's soul, described as deep like the rivers, symbolizes the collective memory and experience of black people. It represents the depth of black cultural identity which has absorbed the richness of history and endured through centuries of oppression. The soul, like the rivers, is ancient, resilient and deeply connected to the natural world. Poetic Devices End Stopped Lines The poem is characterized by end stopped lines, meaning that each line concludes with a natural pause. This structure reinforces the poem's rhythmic flow Mimicking the continuous movement of a river, the lack of enjambment contributes to the poem's sense of confidence and self-assurance as each statement is delivered with finality. Refrain The repetition of the phrase, I have known rivers, at the beginning and end of the poem serves as a refrain, emphasizing the speaker's deep connection to history and the natural world. This refrain creates a rhythmic pattern that reinforces the poem's central themes. Metaphor The central metaphor of the poem is the comparison of the speaker's soul to the depth of rivers. This metaphor underscores the speaker's profound connection to history and the enduring nature of black cultural identity. Imagery Hughes uses vivid imagery to evoke the natural world and its connection to human history. The descriptions of the rivers and their surroundings create a strong sense of place and time, allowing readers to visualize the historical moments the speaker references. For example, the imagery of the Mississippi River's muddy bosom turning golden in the sunset captures the transformation of a symbol of suffering into one of hope. Structure and Form The Negro Speaks of Rivers is written in free verse, meaning it does not adhere to a specific rhyme scheme or meter. The poem's structure is fluid and variable, much like the rivers it describes. The varying line lengths and the absence of strict rhyme or meter allow the poem to flow naturally, imitating the movement of water. The poem is composed of five stanzas of varying lengths, with the first and last stanzas serving as a frame for the central narrative. The repetition of the opening and closing lines creates a sense of circularity, reinforcing the idea of continuity in black history and culture. The middle stanzas provide a sense of expansiveness reflecting the broad scope of the speaker's experiences. Similar Poems I Too by Langston Hughes This poem, like The Negro Speaks of Rivers, explores themes of racial identity and pride. It asserts the speaker's place in American society and anticipates a future where African Americans will be fully recognized and valued. The Negro Mother by Langston Hughes This poem presents the voice of a black mother who speaks of the struggles and hopes of black people throughout history. 
It shares with the Negro Speaks of Rivers a focus on the resilience and strength of black culture. The Weary Blues by Langston Hughes. This poem captures the emotional and cultural depth of African American music, particularly the blues. Like the Negro Speaks of Rivers, it reflects the rich cultural heritage of black Americans and their enduring spirit. Harlem also known as A Dream Deferred by Langston Hughes. This poem examines the frustration and potential consequences of unfulfilled dreams, particularly in the context of racial injustice. It resonates with the themes of perseverance and resilience found in The Negro Speaks of Rivers. Sympathy by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. This poem, though written by a different poet, shares thematic elements with Hughes's work. It reflects on the experience of African Americans using the symbol of a caged bird to represent the longing for freedom and the pain of oppression. Conclusion The Negro Speaks of Rivers is a powerful and evocative poem that celebrates the depth and continuity of black cultural identity. Through its use of metaphor, imagery and rhythmic structure, the poem connects the reader to the ancient and enduring history of black people, emphasizing their resilience and contributions to human civilization. Langston Hughes's masterful use of language and symbolism in this poem makes it a seminal work of the Harlem Renaissance and a timeless reflection on the strength of the black spirit. The poem's exploration of themes such as identity, perseverance, and cultural heritage resonates not only with the context of African American history, but also within the broader human experience. By tracing the speaker's connection to ancient rivers and significant historical moments, Hughes underscores the importance of remembering and honoring the past while also looking forward to a future where the full richness of black culture is recognized and celebrated. So this was the discussion on the poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other poem. Until then, goodbye and thank you.